What up, good people? It's the SMT. We've got an update for you here coming out of Verizon. They're bringing back a big-time promotion. It's a phone upgrade promo, and it's going to get you some good deals on devices, and it's going to be available to everyone. All right, so let's see what the details are. All right, if you want the skinny on this, obviously, you could just go to the Verizon website. In fact, it's on the Verizon homepage and also their news center. But um, I'm looking here at the CNET article, uh, so you guys... Uh, can find it all over the place. It's all over, you know, media coverage for this promotion. So Verizon is going to be doing a push for 5G devices. Uh, the carrier just announced today they're doing 800 bucks off an iPhone 13. And you could do the mini. Uh, you could do the uh, 128 gigabit version uh, in terms of storage. And then they'll they'll give you the same amount of money off on the Pro. So you'll be coming out of pocket. Uh, what would that be? About 200 bucks. And then the 13 Pro Max, again, 800 off that phone's coming up at about 1100 i believe so um also they're throwing in the google pixel 6 line up to 800 so that'll cover that phone uh plus some and then the s22 line the z flip and z fold 3 those are all covered so to get you in a you know newer device on their 5g network the c-band is building fast they want to get people on this stuff and uh you could trade in any phone right that you always got to do trade-ins with these these deals so they give you uh credit you know, and they'll they'll take it each month. They'll they'll give you a certain amount of credit towards your bill to to pay off the the remainder of the phone uh, and the what is it the installment plan on the payments. All right, so as long as your phone doesn't have battery damage, you are good to go. It doesn't matter if the screen is cracked or whatever; they will take it. And um, you got to be on a play more, do more, or get more to get the up to eight hundred dollars. If you come in on the start plan, it's going to be four hundred to get half the credit. So that's an important piece to know. Uh, and let's see, 36 months, bill credits. Okay, we got that covered, and I think that's all it is. So now Verizon, they're jumping back in on promos. They had a rough Q1, and they usually do much better Q2, so this will help as people will see value in upgrading the devices. And again, you can find it here on the News Center on the Verizon website. Uh, you know, they tell you what phones it is and how much value you get, and, you know, they also they, they kind of emphasize the value here. This is what they're they're doing here. You know, you're worried about the cost of living, you got inflation, all this stuff, and we can give you a lot of value by being on our network and upgrading through us. And in here, you know, it talks about the subscriptions that you get included, the deal off of the home internet if you want to be a fixed wireless customer, and uh, cloud storage. You know, it's just extra value. They want to say that they give it to you. So you guys can check out some of those details and all that comes with these plans and these features. And uh, just as a second update, uh, they have gone away with the shared data plans. I don't know if you guys have these plans. I don't know if you were interested in them. I don't know who this impacts. I don't. It can't be that many, I, I don't think. But Verizon has officially retired the 5 gig and 10 gig shared data plans. And um, as of today, I believe new um, new accounts, if you sign up today, you won't be able to have the option to sign up for any meter data plan. So that's it. They're, they're going to be completely unlimited based. Uh, unless you're on like those those tablet hotspot plans, I think they got some of those that are metered. Uh, but that's that's pretty much it. Um, uh, unless you're on a legacy account, right, where that stuff is going on. There, actually, from what I'm understanding, the employees are being told that if customers are asking about those plans, send them over to prepaid. And you know, Verizon really doesn't want to do that. They want you on a postpaid plan. Uh, but if they're insisting on a metered plan or a, you know a five gig, I think they got a ten gig or a fifteen gig plan on prepaid to send them there. But I mean, at that point you could probably find better value at another company, you know, so like an MVNO or something like that. But just as an update, this is what you're going to see when you go to uh, look for plans at the Verizon website, it's going to just be the 5g start, the play more, the do more and the get more, no longer any of those metered or bucket plans or shared data plans. So this is it. We got the deals Verizon back on the, on the saddle, and they're going to compete for customers with promos, and then they've gotten rid of the shared data plans. Thoughts and opinions, welcome down below. You all the voice of the people of the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Like, share, subscribe for more, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.